An important aspect of self-control is the ability to resist immediate rewards in order to obtain a delayed reward. Now this definition is a little simplistic, but it does get to the heart of an important aspect of motivation. That aspect being delayed reinforcement's effect on motivation. A bit of a mouthful, I know, but over the course of this presentation, we'll unpack exactly what that means. First off, we should define what we mean when we say a reinforcer. In psychology, a reinforcer is anything that increases a behavior. And a common finding is, if that reinforcement is delayed, the behavior will not increase as much. Now, another way to look at it is through the eyes of delayed gratification. And this was well illustrated in a classic experiment called the Stanford Marshmallow Experiment. In it, children were offered either a marshmallow now or two marshmallows in 15 minutes. Unsurprisingly, they usually chose the immediate reward. However, what was interesting was those that were willing to wait, to wait for the reward, in general, had better later life outcomes. They received better grades in average and in later life were less likely to be overweight. Another interesting finding in this study was that if the marshmallow was out of sight but still in reach, thinking about food made, them, made the children willing to wait longer. However, if the marshmallow was still in sight, thinking about food would make them wait less. This is consistent with later research, which has found that thinking about the immediate reward makes you more likely to choose it, and thinking more about the delayed reward makes you more likely to choose that. With this in mind, there are some practical methods that can be used to keep your mind focused on your delayed reward and not focused on immediate gratification. Keeping a space that's designated for goal-related work can help you keep your mind focused on your goal. A real-world example of this is the gym. People go there to, for the specific goal of exercising, instead of indulging in delayed gratification. Keeping distractions away keeps your mind off the immediate gratification and on your delayed gratification. Another method is allocating a specific time. This works with the same fundamental principles of keeping the association with work-related behaviors. Another good method is goal setting. This works best if the goals are short and achievable. An unachievable goal is likely to be unmotivating, and a delayed goal is in essence a delayed reinforcer, which as we've seen is not highly effective. If you'd like to learn more about this aspect of motivation or another aspect of motivation and emotion, you can find in the description a link to a student organized book on both, which is free to access. The references are also in the description below.